After years of development, Firefly's Alpha rocket has finally reached orbit. The company plans to send people to space within the next few months. With this achievement, Firefly is poised to become a major player in the space industry, and investors are already anticipating the stock. If you're looking for a chance to get in on the ground floor of a burgeoning industry, now is your chance. First up, what is Firefly Aerospace and what do they do? Firefly Aerospace is a private aerospace manufacturer and launch services provider. Founded in 20. 2014 by entrepreneur Thomas Markusik. The company is headquartered in Cedar Park, Texas. Firefly's Alpha rocket has reached orbit for the first time, a significant milestone for the young company. Firefly plans to offer low-cost launch services for small satellites, focusing on reusability. Okay, so what are the capabilities of the Firefly Alpha vehicle? The Firefly Alpha vehicle is a two-stage liquid-fueled rocket that has successfully reached orbit for the first time. It is designed for use in launching small satellites into low Earth orbit. It is capable of carrying up to a 500 kilogram payload. The Alpha vehicle's unique cold gas propulsion system uses nitrogen tetroxide and monomethyl hydrazine as propellants. This system allows the rocket to make multiple burns to adjust its orbit as needed. The rocket also has a guidance system that allows it to be controlled from the ground during ascent. The Firefly Alpha vehicle is a significant achievement for the company and opens up new possibilities for small satellite launches. Now for the first unsuccessful Alpha test flight. The first unsuccessful Alpha test flight was a significant moment in the development of the spacecraft. The failure of the test flight meant that the spacecraft was not ready for launch and that more work needed to be done to ensure its success. Despite the setback, the team remained dedicated to their goal. It continued working hard to fix the issues with the spacecraft. Ultimately, the hard work paid off, and the spacecraft was successfully launched on its subsequent test flight. While the first unsuccessful test flight was a setback, Back, it ultimately played an important role in the success of the Alpha spacecraft. However, the string of bad luck for Firefly persisted with three previous launch attempts for Alpha 2 being aborted in September due to technical issues and poor weather conditions. Firefly Aerospace had a rough go of things this past weekend. Three previous launch attempts for their Alpha 2 rocket were aborted in September due to technical issues and poor weather conditions. This bad luck continued on Saturday, with their Alpha 2 rocket reaching orbit for the first time. While this is still a major accomplishment for the private spaceflight company, it's bittersweet given all the previous failed launches. Next, what additional payloads were included on board the flight? The next Firefly's Alpha rocket launch is scheduled for November 29, 2022. The planned payloads include NASA's TechEdSat-15, a three-unit CubeSat carrying experiments for TechEdSat's Nano Orbital Workshop, and Serenity, we see what you did there, which is an educational Cube satellite created by teachers in space that was designed to collect basic flight data. Finally, how can people get involved with this project? Firefly Aerospace is a private spaceflight company looking for commercial customers to launch their payloads into orbit. They have had some success in the past, but they've also had some setbacks. Their Alpha rocket was successfully launched on Saturday, reaching orbit and deploying three satellite payloads. This may be an opportunity for people interested in spaceflight or astronomy to get involved with this project. Firefly Aerospace is always looking for new customers, so anyone interested in sending a payload into orbit should contact them. They also have a website where people can learn more about the company and its products. It's been a bumpy road for Firefly Aerospace, but they finally reached orbit with their Alpha rocket. This is a major accomplishment for the private spaceflight company and opens up new possibilities for small satellite launches. The next launch of their Alpha rocket is scheduled for November 29, 2022, and it will carry NASA's TechEdSat-15 payload. People interested in spaceflight or astronomy may want to get involved with this project by contacting Firefly Aerospace. In other related news, Firefly declares Alpha rocket launch success despite satellites falling back to Earth. Firefly Aerospace claims the recent launch of its Alpha rocket was a success, despite its three satellite payloads re-entering the atmosphere just days later. The second flight of the 95-foot-tall 29-meter Alpha rocket took place on October 1st, lifting off from California's Vandenberg Space 
Space Force Base and successfully inserting three satellites into low Earth orbit. However, the satellites appear to have been placed into lower orbits than the planned circular, 186-mile, 300-kilometer altitude orbits noted in the press kit. Space News reports resulting in the early loss of the satellites. Space object tracking data from the U.S. Space Force's Space Track database shows that three of four objects related to the launch had already re-entered the atmosphere on October 5th, while orbital parameters for the fourth suggest it would also have re-entered. Despite this, Firefly, which is based in Austin, Texas, said the launch was a success. First stage and second stage performance was in line with our Flight 2 requirements and therefore successful, the company said in response to questions from Space News. Our data review continues, but we are excited by our preliminary review showing that we will only need to make very minor tweaks for our next mission, the company added. The article notes that Ceradata, a firm owned by space traffic management company Slingshot Aerospace that runs a leading satellite database, considers the launch a failure due to the likely life loss for the seven satellites aboard when compared to their design lives. Firefly's first launch in September 2021 ended in failure when one of its first stage engines shut down prematurely. Firefly apparently considers achieving orbit to be a major milestone, as the company seeks to prove itself a reliable light-lift launch service provider among a field of new launch companies in the USA. There are a number of launch startups in Europe and China, also aiming to reach orbit. Meanwhile, Firefly Aerospace aborts orbital test flight just after engine ignition. The business completed all the necessary steps to launch its Alpha rocket into orbit early on Friday morning, September 30th from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base. This included engine activation. The 95-foot-tall, 29-meter rocket was standing on the launch pad at 3.51 a.m. EDT, 12.51 a.m. local California time, appearing to be in fine condition. However, the first stage reaver engines quickly shut down. What precipitated the launch abort was not immediately apparent. After ignition, the system went into auto abort. To ensure safety, this is a feature built into the system. According to a tweet from Firefly, the team scrubbed tonight's launch attempt and is analyzing data to decide when to launch again. The mission Firefly intended to launch today is known as Alpha Flight 2 to the Black. As the name implies, it will be Alpha's second attempt to enter orbit. Its first attempt in September 2021 was unsuccessful. It was because one of the Reavers stopped too soon after launch. Even though to the Black is a test flight, Alpha isn't carrying a dummy payload. Instead, it will try to place several tiny satellites into to low Earth orbit. On September 11th, Firefly attempted to launch to the Black. Still, they aborted the launch after spotting an unexpected dip in the helium pressure just before liftoff. The attempt was subsequently moved until today due to unfavorable weather projections. With Alpha, Firefly hopes to gain a market share for small satellite launches. According to Firefly's Alpha user manual, the rocket can carry 2,580 pounds, 1,170 kilograms of payload, into low Earth orbit with each launch. Launch. Each mission cost the firm $15 million. And lastly, a year after a failed launch, Firefly reaches orbit and deploys satellites. Firefly Aerospace's Alpha rocket reached orbit and deployed three satellites last weekend. Even if the satellites may not be in the correct orbit, the corporation considers it a success. Some disagree, though. This launch came just over a year after the Alpha rocket detonated two and a half minutes after liftoff. Firefly CEO Bill Weber said, With the success of this flight, Firefly has announced to the world a new orbital launch vehicle, available today with a capacity that is pivotal to our commercial and government customers. Our technology and team skills allow us to prove flight and deployment on our second try. Firefly has many thrilling days ahead. I'm thrilled for Firefly. Firefly's path to orbit isn't unique. No commercial rocket company has reached orbit on the first try. Firefly believes it's the first business to launch and reach orbit from U.S. soil on its second try. Firefly is the fifth U.S.-based rocket business to reach orbit in the past 15 years. Firefly stated they are the only U.S. commercial space company with a medium-lift rocket, ready to carry consumers to space. Firefly's 29-meter Alpha rocket can launch 1,300 pounds to orbit for $15 million per launch. Alpha also accomplished a two-burn maneuver during its first orbital trip. The three main payloads were demonstration satellites, NASA's TechEd Sat-15, a CubeSat that includes an exobrake to help de-orbit satellites, the Teachers in Space Serenity 3U CubeSat, designed to collect flight data for 
educators and a Pico bus deployer carrying six pocket cube satellites for AMSAT, Spain, FOSA, and Libra Space Foundation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below letting us know what you think. We love hearing from you.